Hello everyone and welcome back to Subnautica. So there was an update for this game guys and it adds uh, the new exosuit. I feel like that's something I'm not going to be able to get for a while so I'm not going to try and get it in this video. Usually when I try and do something in a video I end up not even getting close to what I want to do so that'll probably still have to wait guys. They recommended that I um, start a new save file which I don't really want to do considering I've made uh, like a ton of progress in this one. I spent like 14 hours working on all the stuff in this save file So I don't really want to get rid of it But if I do I'll probably put on cheats and build my base and things again considering I kind of earned that I feel and I don't want to head to put another like 13 hours in doing all that stuff all over again But um, yeah, there's a new update apparently there's some new places new things you can explore They might not all be in my save file. They upgraded it, but they're not really sure if it's all gonna be there well, I don't know man. Just a bunch of words Okay, a bunch of words came up when I started the game and I was like all right then and here I am So what we're gonna do today guys is we are gonna build an alien containment unit Sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a fish tank so step one guys in building an alien containment unit is to take out your little habitat builder You can open it up and if you go down here alien containment provides optimal conditions for flora and fauna Add a hatch to enter you need four glass and titanium. I don't have any glass right now It's not that hard to get I'll just run out and get a bunch of quartz And what I also need to get while I'm running around looking for quartz guys is creature eggs because the way it works is you make this little fish tank aquarium thingy and then you either put live fish in the ones you can grab and hold in your inventory and then like cook up later and eat you can do those fish or you can find the creature eggs you can put those in there they'll hatch into little tiny baby creatures and they'll swim around in your tank until they're adults and then when they're adults if there's more than one they'll actually bang and create more children up until I think 10 fish in a tank and after that some of the fish start dying or something, but you can make the tank multi-level as well I can make this tank here and then put another tank down below it So there's like a two-story tank, which is pretty cool like in, like in aquariums Like I've been to a bunch of different aquariums and some of the aquariums You'll see like giant tanks from like floor all the way up several stories and then like staircases going around them It's pretty cool. So we're gonna try and do that So I'm gonna go outside and get some quartz and eggs and stuff Probably lots of stuff. Well, I definitely don't need any titanium, guys, because there's a whole bunch of it in this locker here. And I also have a creature egg right there. Look at that. I don't know what it is, but it's something. And it takes like three to five days of um, in-game time in order to um, in order to actually hatch these things. I don't really know how long a day lasts in this game, but I'm going to look it up uh, after and see if I might be able to use some sort of command to advance time. Because if I could advance time, it would really cut back on the whole just standing here waiting for the eggs to hatch so that we can see the babies. Oh man, you guys have totally just bummed me out. So before guys, when um, when you used to eat lantern fruit before this update, I think it gave you like 10 to 15 food and water and now it only gives you five and three? Am I wrong? I don't think I'm wrong guys. Either way, um, that's not a lot. Okay, you have to eat a lot more lantern fruit now. And it seems like sometimes when you eat the lantern fruit, they take away health instead. That's happened to me before. I don't know what it means, but okay. Let me just go ahead and eat lots of lantern fruit. I do have a pretty big setup here. There's four lantern fruit trees, so yeah, I got that going. See? Blood loss detected. Why am I losing blood from eating fruit? That's not how it works, man. Jeez. <laughs> okay, you guys get, have you ever eaten fruit and then lost blood because of it? I hope you haven't because, uh, you know, I'd rather if you guys were safe and not losing blood from things. But yeah, if you have, let me know because this is a strange concept to me. Losing blood from eating fruit. Oh, what is this thing over here, guys? It's another creature egg. Oh, I think I just saw it twitch. Ugh, gross. <laughs> I, I could have took my sea moth with me, guys, but um, I figured it might be best to just, uh, you know, fly around on the sea glide. I can get a lot closer to the bottom of the ocean and grab things quicker. But of course, there's also these things trying to eat me. Go away, you ugly thing. Aha, another creature egg. Oh, shit. See, I don't, I don't like this, guys. I don't like this at all. I still have 70% health, so I'll be fine. All right, you're not gonna stop me. You're not gonna scare me away. What in the hell is that thing over here? What's that? What's this thing? What? Is this the stuff you get with the exosuit? Okay, great. I just noticed that I have like no oxygen and also something is trying to spit at me. Not good. I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there, guys. Oh, shit. Mm. Oh. Oh, oh, I'm alive. Holy crap, I'm alive. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> okay, so, uh, quick note. 
you probably shouldn't do that. All right, I'm back, guys. I've got a buttload of quartz, and if you've watched my recent Sneak Thief video, you know that's a lot, okay? <laughs> so, I'm gonna turn that into glass, and we're gonna make this little containment thingy right up there. I don't know why I'm like pointing over. You can't even see me pointing any. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore, guys. Let me just let me just build the thing, okay? Hey, look at this, guys. Now, when you build stuff here, he actually reach out, reaches out and grabs it from the uh, fabricator. I don't think that's how it was before, right? That's cool, I guess. I mean, not really. What happens if you walk away? Nothing. Okay, you gotta actually pick it up now. Wow, okay. I always thought that was a little bit weird in the game. Hey, you could like, you know, fabricate things and then leave. But yeah, so they changed it. So now you have to actually get it from the fabricator. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I think they did that because the fabricator now takes a long time to fabricate some things. I mentioned that in the last video. They made it so that some of the things in the fabricator take up to like several minutes to craft. So then you can just walk away and come back and pick it up later. Okay, let's go upstairs. It's time to do the building. All right, this thing actually looks like it's pretty big. It's gonna take up a lot of space in here. You can just barely get around it when you come in. So build that. Mm-hmm. It's happening. Really green, huh? All right then. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Isn't this really cool? I think it's really cool. Now, uh, we have to build a hatch in order to get inside here, which is this thing. Just goes on the side like that. I guess I'll put it over here on the end when you come in, because it's the least uh, it's the least used place when it comes to looking at it. I would imagine. I'm probably gonna come in here and go around. And I want to be able to see it from the outside. So, yeah, the hatch over here is probably the best idea. And now I can just hop in. So now I can use the planter with the left mouse button to put plants in here. And also the creature eggs just had to be dropped or something. So I actually need to collect plants to put them in here by the look of it. All right, then. That makes sense. I mean, you know, that's how things work in real life. You have to get the things before you can use the things. So I'll get out of there. Open up my inventory, dropping off them eggs. I don't know what these are, guys. I don't know what eggs are what. This one looks pretty cool, though. And, I mean, that one does, too. Oh, wait. You can see something inside of it. Oh, it's a little baby, um, like, octopus thing? <laughs> I don't know, man. Are those the little octopus things that are, um, inside the caves and stuff? Because if so, that's pretty cool. And also, you can see, you can see this egg over here just jiggling about and stuff. It's weird. I don't like it. I don't like how the egg is jiggling, guys. And now we gotta wait forever for it to actually hatch. I'm gonna go look for some more eggs, okay? We'll see if we can find any more. We'll get as many as we can. I mean, I'm just gonna give up after a little bit, but I'll get as many as I can, and then uh, I'll see if I can advance time or something. There's gotta be some sort of command for that, right? They have commands for, like, everything else in this game. I'm sure time is one of them as well. Would it be wrong of me to assume that if I want a certain type of creature, I'm gonna have to go to where that creature is located and then look for eggs around it? Because uh, that's what I'm thinking I'd have to do. Because I want to get one of those um, stalkers, and I know that the stalkers are around here somewhere. I, I'm assuming you can't get any of these dudes over here. I'm assuming these guys don't have eggs you can just plant. Though it would be amazing if you could get a little baby gastropod just floating around in your tank. But he's too big. He would take up way too much space. So, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume that's not a thing. Well, here's the stalker anyway, guys. He's swimming around here. Um, yeah, I'm not going to get out because I don't want to get hit by him. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna look around and see if there's- <gasps> Is that an egg? That really didn't take very long, but it doesn't look like there's a stalker inside of it. It looks like the little octopus thingy. You know, I don't, I don't know what that means. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab it though, okay? Maybe, maybe the creature eggs don't all have their own little, um, what's the word? Little models. Huh? That's a possibility. I'll take it anyway, okay? I'll plant it. Who cares? Did I just say I was gonna plant an egg, guys? Honestly, I don't really understand biology, okay? <laughs> I'm in the land of the assholes right now, guys. They're just swimming around, you know, being assholes as they do. Maybe there's an egg somewhere here too, huh? Hmm? There's a couple of these guys. You guys could be banging for all I know. Ooh, what is that thing right there? Can't really tell. I'm gonna have to hop out. I'm pretty sure it's an egg, guys. Ah, oh, it's an egg! Get it! Ah! Grassy Plateau's egg. What? There's actually like a name on it based on where it's located? So will they just be like random or something? Get me back in the sea moth. I can't even see where it is anymore. <laughs> Yeah, maybe maybe each place has different eggs. Never really thought about that because it doesn't really make any sense. There's something strange going on here, guys, and I don't really know what it is. Basically, I have this grassy plateau's egg, okay? And it's a smaller egg than the other eggs, and I'm not allowed to drop it. This one here, you're allowed to drop, and this one, you're not allowed to drop it. I don't know what that means. Okay. Ah, oh, Jesus, I got no oxygen left. Hang on a second. Spending too much time in the fish tank. Oh, oxygen comes back really slow here? I didn't realize that. I mustn't have had a full, uh, 
full oxygen meter before I even went in here. Well, yeah, so, so I got an egg and I'm not allowed to do anything with it, guys. I don't know what it means. I'll look it up when I'm looking up the console commands in a minute. All right, we just got to put the rest of the fish in. We have um, whole fish. Okay, so uh, drop that. We have a Gary fish and a spade fish, and I'll throw in another whole fish as well. That that way, if they want to have some babies, they can have some babies. Look at this guy. Isn't he just the funniest looking dude right here? What is that? You got one eye? Really? And you look like a spade? Wow, okay. I bet your mother loved you. She didn't. She didn't love him. Grow! Grow! Why aren't you growing? All right, I've noticed something, guys. I don't know what it means, but you can see that these eggs over here are kind of going like this. And then the egg over there, this one right here, is kind of going, you know? So I don't know if that means they're in different stages or if it's just random. Oh, hey, it says right here that um, the eggs actually hatch in one to three in-game days. Because I read something that said it took three to five, so... Hopefully this is right because I'd rather if it didn't take as long just in case there is no command for it But uh, yeah, it says here you can actually identify the eggs based on their um, based on their appearance or something So I'm, I'm, I'm looking into it guys. There are gazopod eggs in this game I didn't think it was gonna be a thing, but it is you can hatch a gazopod in your alien containment unit And it'll be a little miniature gazopod. Holy crap. There's eggs for everything here so it turns out guys that my eggs are stalker eggs which is cool because I did want to get a stalker egg and I found one next to a stalker and it looked like that. All right. And also the other one is a sand shark egg. Okay. Well, those are two things that I wanted to get actually. I wanted to get a sand shark and a stalker and I got them. Now what the hell is going on with the grassy plateau egg, huh? Somebody tell me that. And what the hell's a rabbit ray? Somebody said in the Subnautica forums that this egg that I have here is actually uh, something I can scan. Okay. So if that's the case, let me try and scan it and see what it says. But they said it was only available in experimental mode, but I know there was just an update, so I wanted to try it and nothing's happening. Okay then, great. I don't like this, okay? Can I eat it? I wanna eat it. I don't think I can eat it. Shit. Well guys, I'm gonna be honest with you, the only thing I really wanna do now is go find a gazopod egg and get myself a miniature gazopod. As much as I hate those dudes, I think they would make a hilarious pet. I can just imagine a little tiny version of those just making little tiny poops everywhere. Guys, a very reliable source just informed me that one of my eggs hatched and I now have a miniature sand shark in my aquarium. Let's check it out. Ooh, there he is, look at him. He's so tiny. He's the tiniest thing in the world right now. Oh my God. <laughs> Compared to the other ones who are like this big, that is just hilarious, man. That is, that is amazing. I don't know how long to take to grow, but I'm gonna enjoy him being a little baby. I think I can pick him up too. I'm pretty sure I can pick him up and bring him outside and he'll immediately become full grown. I just wanna pet him. Can I pet him? Hey buddy, hi, how's it going? I'm your dad or your mom, whatever, it doesn't matter. I didn't really sit on your eggs or anything, so I don't know if it counts, but, but I love you, okay? Wait, do you wanna be my best friend? We're best friends now, guys. So these ones should probably hatch pretty soon as well which is good. See, this one is now going like this, and before it was going like that, so I think it might be getting closer. This one is probably gonna hatch first, okay? I'm gonna predict that this one is gonna hatch first. All right, let's get in the sea mouth. let's go visit the gazopods, let's steal their children. Hmm, something I've always wanted to do. I feel like that would be a really good form of revenge, you know, just uh, hunting down the thing that you don't like, the thing that wronged you in some way, and then stealing its children for yourself and raising it as your own. Where are your babies? I am going to find your babies. Oh, is that an egg down here? Is that, is that what I think it is? <gasps> it's an egg, guys, and I think it might be a gazopod egg. It's a something egg, okay? Let me see, it's called creature egg. Let me look this up. I'm looking this up. I got my table here with all the eggs in it. I think it's a rabbit ray, guys. Just, just a plain old rabbit ray, whatever that is. All right, well, I'll keep looking. Okay, this is my third Rabbit ray egg, guys. I'm gonna keep picking them up because they only take up one space, but seriously, what the hell? Another one over here. I just want a gazopod egg. Ooh, what's that? That's titanium. Well, I was just about to give up, guys, and then I found this little tiny dip here, and if you go down, there's actually two gazopod eggs, which means I can have like a little gazopod family in my tank if I wanted to now, because they can just have little babies. Oh, it's the best day ever. 
<laughs> All right, so it turns out that my stalker hatched as well, guys. He's swimming around in there now. Um, it didn't say that he hatched. At least I didn't see it before it came up and said discovered, um, you know, a sand shark egg or whatever. But yeah, that's cool. So now we got a stalker in there and we got a little sand shark in there and I'm gonna hop in. They're not gonna hurt me because I'm their father, okay? That's that's not what you do to your father. Jeez. Uh, and I'm gonna drop off a couple of gazapod eggs and uh, this one here. Okay, that's um, the rabbit ray or something. And then I'm gonna have to take some of these guys out, okay? I didn't even I didn't even want whole fish in here in the first place, but I don't want there to be too many fish in here taking up space. Uh, how do you, how do you, how many things do you take up? Okay, so four, great. You can go back in there again. Sorry for touching you. Now, let's hop out and let's see if there's a command to advance time so we can see these little gazapods, okay? I'm excited. Well guys, I found something even better than advancing game time. There's just a code you can type in called fast hatch. So if you type in fast hatch, these things are gonna hatch. Look at that, and there they are floating around in there now. Yeah, <laughs> this is starting to look pretty good, man. I got one, two, three, four, uh, crap. I'm really bad at counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine things in there. Okay, great. Well, some of you guys are gonna die eventually because now that I have a pair of gazapods and a pair of stalkers, they're eventually gonna have some babies. So, until then, you're fine, but once they pop up, you might see some dead fish in the tank. That's, that's just life, okay? I like this, guys. I like that you can do this. This is fun. And as I said, you can actually take them out of the tank later and release them into the wild. And once you do, I think they become aggressive again and they also become full grown fish. So I might have to do that. I might have to take it. Why don't, why don't we try it, okay? Let's take out a stalker since I don't really uh, need to have stalker babies because stalkers aren't that great. We'll take them. We'll put them outside. We'll see what happens, okay? Oh, uh, it's nighttime. It's kind of hard to do this stuff at night. Here we go. Turn on that light and drop. And there he is. Look at that. Full grown, getting angry, swimming around. I don't, I don't know what this guy is doing. He's just going a little bit crazy. Hey, what's up, buddy? Are we friends? We're friends, right? I can't get him back again now, guys, because now that he's outside, he's his own, uh, he's his own boss. Okay, I have, I've given Dobby a sock. Well, guys, I gotta admit, this is pretty cool. I didn't realize it was like this. I didn't know you could take like any creature in the game and hatch a little baby version of it. So, yeah. I'm happy. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.